from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. With an ever-increasing uptake of cloud services in South Africa, maintaining a secure, modern and innovative data center has become critical. Natasha Oudendahl tells us how Telcom is leading the pack. South Africa's $185 million cloud computing services industry is expanding, with expectations that small and medium-sized enterprises would drive the uptake of services to $390 million by 2017. The global cloud services market reached a value of $131 billion last year and was expected to grow to $180 billion by the end of 2015 as cloud spend rapidly increased. Telcom, boasting the largest Tier 3 and Tier 4 data centers in the country, aim to drive connectivity, supporting the explosive data growth and an increasing demand to access data from any device, anytime, anywhere. The group was driving the adoption of cloud through ICT solutions delivered through its CyberNest arm, aiming to become a one-stop shop, providing a full range of services and leveraging the increased opportunity of cloud adoption. Telcom CyberNest sales and marketing managing executive Theo Bench tells Engineering News what it takes to keep pace with demand. Cloud is a subset of a much greater play that's happening. We have entered into the digital revolution. We believe, you know, looking at the research that we have on a global scale, that this, this, uh, this digital age will be one generation. And then there's going to be generation connected, connected to everything all the time, uh, you know, through different devices. Uh, so we start to, to look at what's going to happen beyond 2020, when the generation C will come, come about. The, the, you know, the digitalization strategy or the digitalization move is something that we feel we embrace very, very well as telecom. So we've got six products or product portfolios that, that enables digitalization, uh, of which cloud is one. And you can see that the behavior of consumers, users, people that's got available budget to spend is differing. So I think there's an acceleration into the value stack of cloud. Not everything that telecom does is cloud to our customers. Uh, so we look at the trust relationship that we have and that we continue to build because cloud conversation is about a trust relationship. So number one, all our data centers are within the con confinements of the borders of South Africa. Uh, and we're not necessarily going to expand on that. However, there is an international draft to partner on a global scale with international companies to look at how do we deliver data center services for them from South Africa. Very exciting for us. I think it's going to open up the world for us. Uh, we're in a position to embrace our customers' expansion strategies, and that's one of the value propositions that we have as telecom business. It doesn't matter whether you're expanding into Africa, your footprint, whether you're expanding into the rest of the world, we can follow where you go with the services that we offer. Uh, lastly, from a maturity of service point of view, in future you'll be able to service orchestrate services out of our data center. That's something that we do want to be in a position to deliver within the next 12 to 24 months. We've got 22 key critical projects, all underpinned by our group CEO, Mr. Maseko to turn the business to, to the level where we want it to be to address this new digital age. So there's a number of initiatives and a number of products that we are launching right now as we speak to take that forward. So, if it, if, so I'll refer to six elements that makes the digital uh, revolution. So we've got five of the six. So it's the invisible network. So as Telcom, we're the provider of both fixed line and mobile. So connectivity to this world is very important. We've got the uh, mobility, bring your own device for principles and frameworks that all rolls up into the third element of this called unifi unification or unified communication. Cloud is the fourth element. So how do we take everything that you do into the data center and allow you strategic initiatives whilst we're running your operational burden? The second last is machine to machine. So we've got a very dedicated uh, offering towards machine to machine communication, creating a huge amount of data and that then leads to the last, which is big data. And one of the things we're evaluating right now is how do we embrace big data analytics uh, into our client base. Other news making headlines this week, Samsung hands over the first digital village and there's a growing need to build capacity to support South Africa's infrastructure ambitions. Consumer electronics producer Samsung Electronics recently handed over its first South African digital village to the community of Malibongwe Ridge in Gauteng. By the end of this 2014, we would have rolled out a digital village in 10 countries across the continent as a true commitment to bring the much needed services to our continent. While capacity building in South Africa's infrastructure sector remains important with regard to the economic growth of the country, the Black Business Council notes that government does not have enough capacity to ensure service delivery that will drive economic growth in the sector. 
our view again is that if you have a capacity to state, it will actually be able to arrest that problem and also to arrest these runaway costs that we experience in our projects. That's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.